everyone just loves pizza and sometimes you don't have enough ways to get it because you're either broke or you're out of and you just don't have the time, you don't have the money to buy the ingredients to make it, or you just don't have some of the electronics like ovens or microwaves to make pizza. So today I have a different way of, incur of making pizza. It's uh, called French bread pizza because we use French bread as the crust. Unfortunately, since the grocery store was out of French bread, I have paper to use as our wonderful French bread. French bread pizza can be made in three simple, uh, three simple steps. First, gathering your ingredients, which I have done now. Uh, second, you add your sauce and your toppings. And then third, you bake it in the oven, and then you pull it out, slice it up, and enjoy. So first, you have to gather your ingredients. I know everyone has certain taste about pizza, so uh, today I brought some marinara sauce, but you could also use some Alfredo or some type of cream sauce, and just whatever you can think of. If you have any allergies, you can adjust it however you want it. Uh, for toppings today, I brought some just some plain cheese and some pepperoni, and I uh, have a random water bottle, yes, because when you eat pizza, you gotta have something to wash it down with. So in our first step, First, you want to take the French bread, a little bit of pieces of paper. Um, you'll split it in half, and then you'll put it on this wonderful baking sheet we have right here. And then you'll take the sauce, which I conveniently have in a can. And you take a spoon, and then you scoop it out of the can, spread it <coughs> evenly around the bread. And then after, you finally get the uh, your level, your amount of sauce you put on there is based completely up to you. Depends on your appetite, however you, how much, how much sauce you like, how much not sauce you don't like, or how much sauce you don't like. It's completely up to you. And then we'll take our cheese or our pepperoni, whichever one you want to put on first, and you'll take some, spread it evenly, you gotta make sure you spread it evenly, and just take it, open up the bag, add however many you want, but you have to make sure that you don't want if you want it double layered, you have to make sure you have to have enough to make sure you can double layer it. And then after you make the pep uh, put on the pepperoni on our French bread, you can add the cheese. Um, your cheese is completely up to you. I mean, like this entire pizza is completely up to you on however much you have. But uh, today I brought some Colby and Monterey Jack because I didn't have any mozzarella. So we're going to make some yellow and white, some cheesy bread. And then, um, so you'll add the cheese, make sure you have it spread evenly. The whole thing's about this, you gotta spread it evenly. And then, um, if you want to, you can add some, another layer of pepperoni and add some more cheese, or add another layer, or vice versa, however you want to put it. If you want to, you can make a layer of just one topping, some cheese, make it another topping, and then completely layered up to you. No one cares. But for today, uh, we're just doing a layer, a single layer of pepperoni and a single layer of cheese. <laughs> and um, so once you get all your sufficient toppings, well, if you want to like, add mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, anchovies, olives, anything, you can add it. And then um, add some more cheese if you so like. And then um, hopefully before you started this, you preheated the oven. So then you can just slide the pizza right in bake it for about eight to ten minutes or to your desire and then um, take it out slice it up enjoy it with whatever drink and then in conclusion for all this french bread pizza is a wonderful idea because it's simple fast and you get to have anything you want on it so thanks guys enjoy your french bread pizza